welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and there's also an Amazon store with pictures. So check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of videos when they first come out, hit that notification bell and likes, comments, questions, all welcome. I am using my blended or mixed up with alcohol colors just because that's what I want to do. Um, I, the only thing I'm going to do straight is the pitch black here, I think. Um, right there. Go ahead and get it dried. Now this is my Revlon brush hair dryer. It has brushes that go on the end. This has three settings. It has a high air, high temperature, high air, low, no, let's just do that. So there's the cool high volume. There's heat low volume and heat high volume. Those are your three. All right, that's dry. Now I'm going to do a brownie type background here. Now, this isn't terribly diluted, so I'm going to run some alcohol back over this so I can have plenty to move around. I do not care how it turns out. I just want something down here. This I'll cut off, so I'm not going to worry about that either. Okay. So this is a deeper red. I don't want just red because I don't want it to be just red. So let me find... All right, here's butterscotch. Butterscotch is strong. Um, it is just strong. Um, but it goes well with the red or the deeper reds, not the orangey red. So I'm going to play with that. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to put down one of these and kind of get an idea. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz blowing tool because I don't want it strong. I don't want to use the airbrush yet and blow it. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to put down enough here to activate a little bit of this so it'll incorporate in the petals. Now, I've got to get my petals at least to here. So what I'm going to do is do a little cheat. And I'm going to pull them down. Because I can't put all this alcohol right there. I have to have some of it down here. Now, that's as far as I want it. I hesitated and I just did it. Um, I stopped it, but I blew it back. I almost got a line across there. Go back and forth. Create the vertical lines or the parallel lines with the, the pedal. If you need to, hit it with some heat. Okay. I'll live with that. Now, I'm going to, because I'm going to be on top of this, I just realized, I'm going to try to move the camera slightly to the side, if I can. And I'm not having good luck doing that. Um, I'm going to try to do that. That's as far as I can get it. If I'm on top of it, you can still see what I'm doing. Good. Okay. Okay. Put one here. All right, I'm going to blow it back because I've got enough that I can get it farther up without creating a bad line that I don't like. So I'm going to hit it with a beat.
I will have to say I'm not quite getting what I want. Um, I may be putting too much down because obviously I can get it where I want it. So, and I've got a lot to deal with. So maybe less. Um, let's do that. Well, I think now I'm going to do one. Let me do one here. So I'm going to put some here and just a little bit there. Let's see what that does. It gives me a smaller petal, which is fine. Um, yeah, so less. I just did too much at the beginning. I thought I needed to, but I don't. I mean, I like the thickness of this. I just don't want that much to deal with it. So, yeah, that's a that's a work it out situation. Here, here. Sit for a second. I don't like that rounded, so I'm going to try to, there we go, I'm going to work that back just a little, and I did too much there. But on the hand, that, you know, that, those aren't bad looking, so maybe, maybe I do like it. Let's just continue. I need to put something up here. And I just want to get the color there. So this would have been easier on a smaller flower. I know I'm, I've got my scale probably big enough to mess it up, but that's pretty cool right there. Um, yeah, so take that in consideration. Now, I'm not sure how this butterscotch is going to go, but I think it'll be interesting. So let's do... Kind of the same thing. Drag it just a little bit. I'm going to let it set and absorb. That worked out better because I'm still kind of blowing it. And that is what is so cool about this is while I didn't like the one underneath it, it's gone. You've created a different one. So keep working. Keep working.
I have to say I haven't mastered this yet, but I'm still enjoying my results. I feel a little out of control. I feel like I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm liking the results of it. So maybe less is better here. I really want that covered up, but on the other hand, I kind of like it. And look how the lighter spots really add to that. I remember when I first started this going, how did they get those light spots? Well, you know what? I guess they didn't mean to, and it just happened, and it looked cool. So now that it's happening, I'm still wondering how they get those light spots. That's all right, because it's happening. I don't really care how I get it. That's pretty cool. Let me get that dry. Mm-hmm. Not exactly what I thought, but hey, I am going with it. I wonder if I want, I kind of want some of that dark broken up here. So I'm going to do this. Now, I'm, I am trying to control a little bit and work it back and forth, back and forth to keep it not spreading out. And that's as far as I want it. I'm going to hit with some heat. really want something here but you know if I did I would take away that and that's pretty neat so I think um, okay when in doubt either take a picture or look in your viewfinder and that needs something other than that I'm liking it okay so I'm gonna put something there I'm gonna do this something here <laughs> ah but you know i'm gonna mix those because that's a neat color so i'm gonna put a little bit on this side and a little bit on that side and see what that does and it didn't go far i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put the butterscotch Okay, I'm going to quit because it's I'm not getting it there. All right. Yeah. I kind of like that. I, I hesitate putting green because I don't necessarily want it to look Christmassy, but this bugs me. So I think what I'm going to do is just mess this up enough. Definitely live with that. Um, 
I want to do some alcohol splatter. And I'm not sure if I just want to do it here or up in my flower. I kind of want to do it at my flower. And you know what else I want to do? I saw where I had some of this mixed. Um, no. Mantilla Black. Okay, this is a pinata product. Mantilla Black is pinata. It does not pull the brown like the pitch black. Brown, pitch black pulls blue and brown, which is so very cool. Mantilla does not. It's straight black. So, I do want that. I don't know that I want to... I, I like how it's going out. I just want to clear up that. Um, so, I'm going to do this and see what I can accomplish. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting what I want. Okay, I didn't get what I wanted. So, I'm going to leave this. And, and work with it. Um, I was hoping to blow it out a little bit, but playtime. All right, I'm gonna do see if I can. No, I really want very little on there, just enough to influence it. I'm making a hot mess. Okay. My phone. I had to delete some things. <laughs> I keep my phone so full, I don't know why. Okay, so... And it's just not um, doing what I'm wanting it to do. So I am kind of going in here and just uh, kind of making a mess of this. But I'm, I'm trying to follow some of these lines. For these petals. And this is going to have a watercolor, not a watercolor, an alcohol ink look to it because that alcohol ink is going to react. So I could do this with acrylics but at this point I'm just choosing not to. I'm going to go back over this. But I just kind of want to pull some of this dark. Okay. That's a little bit of a hot mess, but...
to comb like that a little bit better, I think. So while this is still wet, I'm pulling it through. And I kind of like leaving how it's dried and it's not solid. Except for that little place right there. Okay. I'm learning. I am. I'm learning. I'm trying something different. But what I will do is do the alcohol splatter now because um, I've messed up enough. So it's a great way to kind of cover the mess up. And. Uh, I'm going to do clear here. In the brown, I kind of want to do pick up a little bit of this red and just flick it. I'm going to use my liner. It will do tinier ones. If I used a bigger brush, it's going to do bigger. So I want to do the little. And I'm going to get up away from it a little bit so I can just kind of see, monitor. definitely want some in this. I want this messed up. That will cover up my boo-boos. That's pretty cool. Oh, good. That's I got it right where I wanted it. I want some over here. Ugh. I like that. I'm glad. I'm glad I messed up so I'd have to correct it. That's pretty cool. But I definitely want more right there. I want a lot right there. I like that. How it trails off. Okay. I'm happy again. I still want to do some red down here. Do I want to do that? You know what? One way to find out. It's okay. No, no. It, yeah, it's okay. Clear probably would have been the one to do. Let's see what that looks. Yeah, I could have done clear all over. That would have been cool. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not great of what I wanted to do, but I love that. Love, love that. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't know what else to do <laughs> for it. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I want something down here, but I really, that is not my, that wasn't my point to cover everything. I just wanted to cover that top. So, I'm done. I'm done. I'm pretty happy with this. So, gosh, y'all go have fun. Look at this. Is that not cool? 
All right. Go have fun. Go mess up. Overcorrect. And have the big time of your life. So, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.